The real story in my novel Bourneville is not the story of the royal family or the successive governments who come and go as the 75 years go by. It's the story of uh, the family uh, who are at the, at the heart of the narrative. And one of the things I began to feel very strongly about these big national events and uh, occasions that I was writing about that in fact uh, they were kind of irrelevant in their, in what, uh, in their actual content. They brought people together uh, but the interesting thing is what those ordinary people did when they were brought together, what they said to each other, what they felt, what their relationships were. I think that all writing is a kind of uh, political act because uh, it encourages people to think more empathetically to see other people's different points of view. Um, so the political effect of a novel, to me, has nothing to do with what the novel is about. Uh, it's to do with the actual act of writing and the act of reading, uh, both of which are politically helpful, I think. The role of education is very important, and we have uh, a great um, tradition of uh, university teaching in particular in the UK and that's under a lot of threat from the government at the moment. Uh, what's interesting is that the government is targeting, they're not targeting uh, science uh, because uh, you know obviously that has a an immediate and practical application. Uh, they're targeting the humanities partly because they don't understand uh, that it's important to study uh, the humanities, it's important to study history, it's important to study literature because it enlarges us as people. Uh, also, they don't like the ideas that people learn from reading literature and from reading history books because it makes people subversive. Great, this is what universities should do, I think. So, uh, I, I hope that that's what uh, Sciences Po is doing for its students.